Hi, I'm Hazel and this is a quick video showing how I make gold using the garrison. This strategy is designed to get you max cash flow with a minimum time invested. I figure if you wanted to spend a bunch of time making gold, you'd probably be playing the auction house instead. The only add-on that you're going to need is master plan. If you somehow don't have that already, just grab it right now. There's a curse link in the description below this video for you. It makes sending out missions 10 times faster and also optimizes them for gold for you so there's no reason not to grab it. Do it. These are the buildings you'll need. In your medium spots, get a level 3 inn and a level 1 trading post. For small buildings, get a level 2 gem boutique and a level 3 salvage yard. Note that you absolutely don't need jewel crafting as a profession, just the building. Optional but recommended is the level 3 barracks which gets you 5 more slots for followers. If you've got a brand new garrison and you're tight on resources to get started with, leave that for later and focus on getting the gem boutique in the inn first. If you're only doing one or two characters, I'd also look into maxing out the mine and the herb garden if you think you'll have time to pick them on most days. For followers, you'll need one dude with jewel crafting, which you can pick up pretty easily in the world, and will be recruiting almost everybody else from the inn. Ideally, you have two or three dudes with scavenger, that one jewel crafting bro, and the rest will be treasure hunters. You can recruit one new follower every week from your inn starting at level 2 by talking to the recruiter NPC inside. Get at least one scavenger early to help you with resources and then take treasure hunters. Master plan shows you what you already counter so you can easily pick one with the combat traits that you need. Because it's only one dude a week, treasure hunter missions are a bit of a slow burn to get started with but they will become your easiest source of gold. When you have the inn at level 3, you'll start seeing extra gold missions at your mission table. Sending the followers with the treasure hunter trait on the gold missions multiplies the gold reward, which leads to fat stacks of nerd cash. Next, you'll want to go to your garrison building manage table, click on that level 2 gem boutique of yours, and stick your jewel dude in there. Now, when you go visit your jewel crafting hut, he'll be waiting with the daily quest. The daily requires you to craft a thing which you can do at another NPC in the hut. It'll take between 10 and 120 ore, and will reward you anywhere from 150 to 300 gold. The fastest and cheapest way to have ore on hand for this daily is to keep an eye on the trading post prices. I check this NPC every day, and whenever ore hits 4 resources per piece, I just dump most of my resources into it. If you're trying hard, you could keep an eye on market prices and buy valuable mats when they're cheap to sell, but that takes longer than 30 seconds, so who has time for that? So here's my daily routine when I log on. I receive last night's missions, and send out the new day's worth. Right clicking on the percentage completion button will queue up the mission to send up with master plan, and then you send them all out at once. I select the gold missions first so they get the followers that they need, and then I spam the button to make sure everyone else stays busy. Completing missions for the sake of completing them could still get you salvage crates and you want those. Next, pop down to your small buildings and do that JC daily real quick. Stop in at your salvage yard to open any crates you got and vendor the insides, or if you're nuts like me, you can stockpile a stupid amount of them for when the wardrobe patch hits. Follow your heart. On Tuesdays, grab a new treasure hunter follower, don't forget to snag your garrison cache now and then, and that's basically it. If I'm sitting in queues on any character, I'll clean up the herb garden and mine, but I like to bang this stuff out as fast as possible because I'm doing it on 13 alts these days. And that's the big thing about garrisons. You'll do well with one character, but the results multiply with your alts. Something else worth mentioning is that the shipyard is also an excellent source of gold, and with enough time, you can set it up to be really high reward as well. The reason I won't get into it here is that it's a real time sink to get running properly. You need to do dailies in Tanan, spam craft boats, and the whole thing just kind of makes me want to go back to bed. I do plan on making a separate video about making gold with a shipyard though, so if you're extra broke or you just hate fun, keep an eye out for that. And that's it. Fully set up, you can expect to make between 4 to 700 gold per day per character in less than 5 minutes each. The odd outlier day can be worth over 4,000 gold. I hope this helps. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!